I think in the short term, we are seeing uh, significant uh, uh, layoffs and hiring freezes. But at the same time, uh, uh, once we uh, take a step back and look, uh, I think it's the J curve. Uh, so it's only a short term uh, disruption, but uh, uh, three to five years down the lane, I think uh, it's going to be an exponential surge in terms of uh, opportunities with uh, generative AI. And I think uh, in my view, there are four stakeholders who need to be part uh, of this. One is obviously the governments. Uh, businesses, academia, and as well as the individual also in some form and shape uh, should take uh, control over their uh, career. Uh, so coming from uh, the government perspective, so whenever such uh, layoffs or like, you know, the hiring freezes happen. So I think uh, it's high time that like, you know, government uh, takes a view at the policies and the infrastructure that they are creating. So I think uh, in this current age, skills uh, should be prioritized more and more uh, over degrees and credentialing of uh, skills should be given much more priority uh, in the landscape where uh, technology is changing quite fast and also bring about access to uh, AI infrastructure, make it uh, accessible to a broader uh, set of the country so that AI divide uh, in the country doesn't happen. Bring about like, you know, more and more free uh, AI tools like chat GPT or uh, things like that and uh, like, you know, empower uh, the young people of the country to be able to start uh, using AI and maybe also learn AI using uh, AI and from the company's perspective they can be more uh, uh, forward in the sense of uh, I think uh, there is always confusion uh, among the young population in terms of what skills do they need to pick up if each company can come forward and uh, start giving clarity or some signals around like you know what sort of skills are do they expect academia should also uh, take part in terms of ensuring that the curriculum is more dynamic as the industry evolves and so should be the pedagogy uh, it's not about imparting knowledge or information anymore but it should also focus on uh, in terms of uh, uh, human skills like cognitive thinking or uh, in terms of critical thinking where uh, AI gives you a bunch of output but humans need to be well prepared to evaluate the AI output and also start looking if there is any uh, bias uh, embedded into the AI outputs mm -hmm. and interpersonal skills, uh, collaborative skills uh, and I think uh, uh, academia need to more emphasize on learning to learn and the learning velocity of the individuals yeah. And from an individual perspective also, I think uh, while, uh, you know, uh, hiring freezes and layoffs are uh, not something uh, in the best interest of individual, but taking this as an opportunity to uh, upskill and reskill themselves, uh, uh, especially in the AI fluency, trying to be a pro user of uh, all the generative AI tools, uh, be it in terms of the prompting techniques or in terms of usage of AI uh, agents and maybe trying to build some uh, gig work or build some side projects uh, uh, which are of uh, meaningful value to them. Uh, so I think if all the stakeholders can come together while whatever the impact that we see in the short term might not be uh, something that we can uh, address immediately. But uh, this adaptation phase is going to be quite crucial uh, the next two, three years. If uh, all the stakeholders can focus on in terms of like, you know, how do we adapt to this changing world? Uh, I think uh, uh, as uh, the opportunity and the innovations are going to uh, exponentially grow. Uh, I think we are well prepared uh, as a world to be able to derive value uh, from the uh, technology disruption that's happening. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, in short term, uh, it's hard for everyone, but uh, just if we uh, take this time to uh, embrace and adapt uh, all the stakeholders and uh, like, you know, align towards the common goal, uh, I think uh, we'll see uh, a much brighter future.